About 20 years ago, NASA was busy making plans for the world's largest space station. They were hoping to find robotic technology that could work safely alongside astronauts and assist in construction of the orbiting laboratory. Although robots were already being used on the floors of large manufacturing facilities, those machines lacked the adaptability and dexterity NASA needed in space. But a small group of MIT researchers were working hard to design a safer, more human-friendly robot. Those early efforts resulted in the whole arm manipulator, or wham arm. Dr. Bill Townsend, one of the original MIT team members, formed Barrett Technology to develop and commercialize the wham. NASA also saw potential in the advanced robotics and soon partnered with the Massachusetts company through the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program in an effort to improve the technology for future use on space missions. The amount of dexterity that's required and the amount of sensitivity that's required is quite different than anything that's been developed before now. And therefore, NASA's had to go well outside of the, the norm in terms of what's been developed to date. The SBIR partnership with NASA and other government organizations led Barrett Technology to develop and build what has since been listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most advanced robotic arm. Contact forces sensed along the WAM arm are immediately felt at each of the arm's motors. That capability, coupled with gear-free cable drives, enable the robot to interact gracefully with walls, objects, and even people. The whole arm can be used to maneuver objects like a person carrying a large bag of groceries might. The WAM arm is possible because of another breakthrough device developed by Barrett through NASA's SBIR program. Called the Puck, this compact module eliminates the need for the bulky, refrigerator-sized metal external controller cabinets typically required with robot arms. By consolidating all the electronics into one little module, we're able to eliminate this 90% of the electronics. And that meant that the efficiency goes way up, the size goes way down, and the reliability goes way up. Weighing less than two ounces with power efficiency approaching 100%, the Puck enables a new class of robotics that can be used on mobile platforms and repurposed for a variety of responsibilities. The Puck is a game changer. It really, it, it, will, it will not only change what NASA does, but it's likely to change what people do across all industries in the future. NASA Johnson also partnered with Barrett Technology through the SBIR program to develop the Barrett Hand. The innovative robotic grasper can intelligently decide how to best handle objects that vary in size, shape, and orientation. The hand easily integrates with arms built by other manufacturers. That saves time and money, since operators no longer have to switch out robotic graspers for different jobs. Barrett's SBIR-supported technological advancements are changing perceptions of how robots can work safely alongside people in more situations than ever before. And with hundreds of products sold to organizations around the globe, it's easy to see that the capabilities NASA was looking for in space robots are also valuable here on Earth. <laughs>